calling the police to stop everything. You have, you have, you hey, have hey, that hey. Police, stop that. Stop that. What's all this madness? Eh? Why are you people disagreeing me? Two of you, why are you always disagreeing me? Don't you know that as a king I have the authority to marry as many wives as, as I deem it fit? Eh? And definitely I'm not going to be the last king to do that. Why are you always disturbing my peace? Why can't I have peace in this palace? Why? Enough of this. Let me have peace in this palace. Sense. Why, mother, why? Why? Why would you do something like this, mom? Why? How can you engage in a fight with someone like that? A woman who has no atom of shame whatsoever, mother. You disappoint me. I didn't just get into a fight with her. She pushed me into it. Oh, you, you should have avoided her. I tried. I tried so much to avoid the fight. But she kept coming at me. I had no option that to... to fight. Mother, that's what you did. But you had an option. A moment of wisdom you could have held back, mother. I've appealed to you countless times when that woman comes at you. Apply wisdom, mommy, and hold back. Now see what you have done. It's not nice. It doesn't look good on you, mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it wasn't my fault. She pushed me into it. She pushed me. No matter how provoked you get, Mama, please, learn to avoid that woman. No matter the provocation. Please, just walk away. Hmm? Over a speed make. Father, why me? Why me? Only come, Major. Namoye come, Major. Mama name as Joe. Only come, Major. My daughter, I understand how you feel. What happened to you happened to all of us. It hurts my feelings so much that I can't do anything to help the situation. I have searched my heart. I have searched my heart inside out. And I cannot think of anyone. Not even a single soul. That can do this to me in life. My ex said he doesn't want to get married. Oh, but yes, no, Jorin. Go ye major. Nam go ye major. Calm down, take it easy. 
Take it easy. How I wish I have an answer to your question. Please, my daughter, I beg of you. You need to stop putting yourself through emotional torture. Hmm? This is my daughter. Lam, you don't understand. You don't understand, father. My daughter, I understand everything. I understand every bit of what you are saying. But crying cannot solve the problem. And it can't help the situation either. You are right. I need to leave this village. Father, I need fresh air. I just want to leave this village. I just want to leave this place. Yes, my daughter. You are now beginning to think positively. You are now behaving like the daughter of her father. Mm. I am very glad to hear you say this. I think leaving this kingdom is the best option. It will help a lot. But I want to suggest something. I want to suggest that you go and stay with your elder brother in Abuja. Staying with him there will help a lot until the police are done with their investigation. I'm very sure going to Abuja will help a lot. And it will help you too. Father, it is very important that I make this trip. Please. Why do I have this feeling that you are trying to abscond from doing that which is expected of you? Well, Father, you know me. You know that I am ready to do that which tradition expects of me. But this trip is an all-important trip. It will be the first time a black man will be honored. In this regard, Daddy, please, I'd like to be on ground to accept it. I plead with you, Father. Let me go. Your Majesty, I think we should allow him go. In fact, we should be happy that our son is the first black man to achieve such a wonderful feat. Please. Son, I'm happy for you. Extremely happy for you. But we are talking about tradition. And we don't have enough time. Speaking of time, Father. I want to assure you that I will not be gone for long. It's a short stay. And then I'll be back. And do all that you want me to do. Father, this trip would also be very good for me as it would afford me the time that I need to clear my head, given all that has been happening around me since I returned. I agree with you. But I want you to have it at the back of your mind that cars and consequences will follow anyone who loses his pet right and you to go on from generation to generation. Now that things turned out this way, what next? My prince, I am talking to you. What next? I am totally confused. I sincerely don't know what next to do. What? Are you joking right now? Sonia. How can I joke with a matter as sensitive as this? How? The situation is so complicated. 
father don't even know what next to say. I wish what happened didn't happen. Prince Uchena Alaribe, it is time for you to go home. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. Go home before I do something I might regret. Come on, Sonia. Has he got into this? It is clear. It is clear that you don't want any good for me. You don't mean well for me. You're just hiding under your brother's stupidity. You're just deceiving me. Very soon you will come. Sonia, you've grown old. I can no longer make you my wife. That's it, right? Sonia. That's it. Stop, Sonia. I cannot deceive you. I promised you before. Get out! Just go! Get out! Go! Sorry, I acted the way I did. I had no choice. I have given him everything. I even turned down the last shooter that came to ask for my hand in marriage. All because of him. And yet he's not giving me any meaningful answer. Your Majesty, I am no longer a baby. I'm getting older by the day. I know. And I'm in support of whatever decision that you decide to take. You do? Uh, yes. I will make sure that everything works out fine. Um, but Your Majesty, do you think he loves me and would want to spend the rest of his life with me? I know that you are in love with my son. And my son is so much in love with you. So I will make sure that he marries you. No one else. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Uchenda, your brother doesn't like you at all the way you claim he does. How can you say that, Mom? If your brother had any atom of respect or value to you, he would have involved you in every decision he takes. Okay, okay, let me take it this way. He traveled to his base abroad. Did he tell you anything about that journey? Since you think... That he likes you, did he? Does it really matter if he didn't tell me? No, it does matter. What he did simply shows that he doesn't care about you. In fact, he sees you as a threat. He sees me as a threat. How do you mean? As someone that stands the chance of taking the throne from your father. I do? Uchenna, yes, you do. Um, Your Majesty, after the day we were embarrassed, during the day we went to commence the marital process of Prince Desmond and Oloma Iweze, nothing has been said uh, 
from the royal household, does it mean that Prince Desmond is no longer interested to do that which will make him emerge as the next king in waiting? Oh no, my son is not ready to surrender his birthright to anyone. He will do what is expected of him. He will. The question is when. The Oruruku festival is fast approaching and we do not have much time on our sides. Besides, we cannot afford to change the date. At the same time, we cannot afford to lose the bigger picture which is crowning the next king in waiting on that very day. So what are you trying to say? Your Majesty, what I am trying to say is that the prince should get himself a wife before the festival. Oh, he loses his best right. Congratulations, my son. I am extremely happy for you. But that is not the main purpose of this conversation. Really? What, is, what is the problem? Definitely everything is not all right. What happened? Desmond, you need to do the needful. As your younger brother might end up becoming the new king in waiting. Oh, yes, it has. Ono and the elders left this palace not long ago, and they threatened that nothing will stop the installation of the new king in waiting on the day of Oruluku festival. Hello. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the polar note. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I know. Yes. Is it true that I stand a chance of becoming the next king in waiting? Who gave you that information? <laughs> oh no. I oh, know I'm a noble son of this kingdom and a prince. Am I not supposed to know the important things that concern the royal family and the kingdom at large? Hmm. Well, you can become the next king in the waiting hmm. if your older brother, Prince Desmond, does not get married before the next Oruku festival. But the thing here is that you are yet to get married too. Father, I have decided to get married. Did I hear you well? You had me very well, Father. Oh, but you've never wanted to get married before your older brother. So what brought about a sudden change of mind? Father, I now know that I stand a chance of becoming the next king in waiting. Chi. Please. Thanks for the drink. You're welcome. And the cola nut. You're welcome. The bar is another worker. A fuese. Chi. I am here with this drink. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> 
Um, it's here. I want to officially let you know that I that I love your daughter and I want to marry her. <laughs> Prince Uchenna. It's here. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm so happy to see this very day. Mm. That you walk into my house with this drink to declare your intentions towards my daughter, Sonia. <laughs> ah, it's a great day indeed. Thank you. You see, uh, everyone in this kingdom knows that both of you have been dating. And uh, the question on every lip has been, when will these two officially seal their relationship? If you understand what I'm saying. Of course, I do. Uh, so, I'm very, very happy that uh, you have uh, finally taken the bold step to do the needful. Uh, you're welcome once again. I um, want to assure you that uh, my arms are open, wide open, to receive the royal entourage any day you decide to commence the marital rights officially. Oh, thank you, Ichi. Thank you, Ichi. So, on that note, I, let me ask you when you we want us to come. Because as far as I'm concerned, I am ready to start the marital rights by tomorrow. My prince, <laughs> you have to take it easy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> take it easy. Anybody has an idea about how to offer the uncle? Yes, uh, I would uh, advise that um, you talk to your father. Okay. Yes, talk to him about this matter and um, let him take it off from there. He will. All right, I, I will do just that. Work. Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Welcome, son. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Son, Love you. you're highly welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Daddy. <laughs> son, you've made the royal family proud. You've made Umweze proud. Thank you, Daddy. You've made the whole country proud and the entire continent of Africa. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so proud of you. And at a time like this, Father, I want to tell you that I am proud to be called your son. <laughs> and I am happy to be back home. Uh, see my people, see how well I'm received. Oh, uh, yeah. That is my heart to be Daddy. here at a time like this. Uh, Thank son, you. I am so excited to have you back. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for making us proud. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. So, uh, let's go in. Right after you. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> What is 
this? What is this? I just want to be sure that you know exactly what you're saying. Are you saying that I don't know what I saw or what? Well, <laughs> it may be possible that you didn't see clearly. Babe, I am seeing clearly. I'm not blind. Prince Desmond is back. And he is in this kingdom as we speak right now. Your Majesty, you need not to panic. He will be fine. Mm, are you sure he will be fine? Of course. What he needs is rest. But what exactly is wrong with him? Uh, I can't really say for now. His vital organ seems to be working well. So, he just needs rest. Oh, well, Dr. Felix, uh... I don't need to remind you how important he is to this family and the kingdom at large. Please, I beg of you, do everything within your powers to see that he is fine again. Your Majesty, I give you my word. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I beg to take my leave. Any news on the prince's health? No news yet. Dr. Phyllis is still attending to him in the room. <laughs> what kind of temptation is this? Uh, eh? Why would the devil choose to, 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 to spoil things today? Today of all days, why would the devil come to scatter the enjoyment we are supposed to be having? Why? Look at all day that I said to myself that Omenka, you are going to marry, you are going to eat and eat and drink to stupor. The devil decided to come and scatter the enjoyment we are supposed to be having today. Just look at it. Look at it. Eh? Omenka, can you hear yourself? Huh? Can you just hear yourself? I don't understand. What are you saying? Are we not supposed to be enjoying today? Are we not? Do you think it's easy to win that kind of award that the prince won? Do you think it's easy to be the first African man to win that very prestigious award that the prince won? Do you think it's easy? Does it not come for celebration? What are you saying? And the devil and, uh, and his gang came to spoil the whole thing. Look at you, you know you're very stupid. Huh? You know you're very stupid. I mean, you should be thinking about the, the prince's health and not this nonsense you're spilling. You, see you, I'm very disappointed in you. Do you know you're correct? Very, very correct. Ah! Omenka, you are stupid. Very stupid. Very, very, stupid. very stupid. Don't rub it in. Take it easy. Easy. I, 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 I know I must have, you know, but don't, don't, don't go that way. I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. But what do we do to save the princess' life right now? <laughs> Is the princess life in danger already? Omega. What, what? What am I even saying? What? Omega, watch your tongue before you put yourself in trouble. Hi. What? We were supposed to enjoy now. Chenna, yeah. have you told your father the outcome of the meeting between you and Mr. Madi? Oh, not, not really. I felt he will not be in the right frame of mind to discuss such, um, considering what happened to my brother. Oh, no, Chenna, will you shut up? How many times will I tell you to stop calling that God-forsaken boy your brother? How can you call someone that treats you the way he does your brother? And how can you call someone that hides everything from you? Your brother! 
For goodness sake, how can you call someone that seems forces with his mother to take away what rightfully belongs to you, your brother? How is he your brother, for, for, for God's sake? Calm. Just, just calm, mom. Just, just tell me what you want me to do. That's a good question. What I want you to do right now is to go straight to your father, tell him that you have picked a date for the marriage right with Sonia. That's all I want you to do for me. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. You understand, right? Yeah, sure, I do. What's going on, Father? What is happening? I can't feel my legs. What, what did the doctor say is wrong with me? He didn't really say anything. All I heard him say was that you need rest. I need rest? What does that even mean? What has rest got to do with my situation? Son, I can tell. But that was what he said. But he assured us that you'll be fine. But I'm not fine, mother. I'm, I can't move my legs. I'm not fine. I can't move. Take it easy. I can't take it easy, but I can't not move. I'm not fine. Greetings, my What are you doing here? I brought you your food. On whose instruction? I asked her to bring it. I'm not hungry, mother. Son, you need to eat something so that you can take your drugs. What drugs? But you just told me right now that I need rest. Why do I need to take medicine? What, what is going on? Why are you not telling me, mommy? What are you not saying to me? Yourself. You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. You're lying to me. How can I lie to my son? Son, I'm not lying to you. Please, do you think I'm happy? Do you think I am happy with your condition? I'm dying. Can't you sense it that I'm dying? It's okay. Why can't I move? You will move. Definitely you will move. Uh, how could you go to Amadi to seek for his daughter's hand in marriage without getting my consent? Oh. Father, do I need to take permission from you before making my intention known to the family of the girl I want to make my bride? Of course you should. I am your father. When such decision is to be taken, I must first know. Oh. Uh, I am sorry I did not inform you. I promise you it won't happen again. Better for you. Uh, father, I want the marriage right to begin as soon as possible. Or maybe the next week. Seriously? Like you want to get married before your older brother? And you are not aware we have tradition in this kingdom? Uh, Father, I am aware we have tradition here that my older brother is supposed to get married before me. But I have waited long enough and I can keep waiting. Uh, the Father, I am ready to do that which he has refused to do. And that includes becoming the next king in waiting. I see. Yes. Ezudo. Oh, you mean 
Oh, the meeting did not hold again. Oh, yeah? What happened? Oh, the council chamber is uh, going uh, renovation. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe possibly by next week. Uh, 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 uh. Esudo, please l let me uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. What's going on here? Can someone talk to me? What's going on? The doctor said, my son cannot walk with his legs anymore. What nonsense are you talking about? Now what happened? My son is crippled. <laughs> son? Uh... I know the doctor did not say what your mom just told me. Father, I wish that I can wake up from this nightmare that life has brought upon me, but my reality is that it's It is impossible, Father. The doctor told us that I will not be able to use my legs anymore. No, this is not happening. I, 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 I can't believe it. Amanda? Your Majesty. Talk to me. Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Your Majesty, neither the Queen nor the Prince lied to you. Yes, the doctor confirmed that the Prince will no longer walk again. Where are you sneaking to? But father, I'm not sneaking out. You are not sneaking out? Why make use of the back door? <sighs> father, I'm going to the palace. Mm. To do what? Uh, well, I heard that Prince Desmond is back and that he's not feeling too well. So I just want to go and check on him and know how he's faring. Hey, uh, what a good-hearted girl. Where your mother gave birth to you, People came congratulating us that we have given birth to a, to, to, to a human being, not that we gave birth to, to a fool. Are you aware you are very stupid? I can you talk. Was it not because of the same Prince Desmond that Stella attacked you with some hookups? Now you want to go and see the same person over whom you almost lost your life. Father, why are you sounding like this? The Prince is not even in support of what that girl did. Neither am I asking for your opinion whether he was in support or not. I, I don't know you to behave like this. Please just allow me to go and see Prince Desmond. He's not feeling well. Uh, now, let me tell you. The earlier you understand it that you cannot leave this house to the palace to see Prince Desmond, the better for you. Now, get inside the house. Come on, inside the house. <laughs> What rubbish? No, I want to know. What rubbish? Why would she accuse my mother for being responsible for her son's misfortune? Now, 
Tell me, what would my mother gain from doing such? The throne. Your mother wants you to become the next king in waiting. And she can do anything to achieve that. Honestly, I have nothing to do with what happened to your son. Maybe you two should search yourself. Maybe you might have committed sacrilege against the girls that made them get so angry to visit your son this way. Not me. You are the one the gods will visit with anger very soon. Uh, but you if you don't confess to what you did to my son, what? Well, enough! Frank, did you to tell me what you went to do at the New Year show that? Why would I have to tell you what I went to do there when that has nothing to do with you? Okay. In case you all want to know, I went there to pray for the safety of my lovely son. Liar! Your Majesty, she's lying. I strongly believe that the sacrifice you went there to perform that day is responsible for what happened to my son. You are the one who is lying. I went there to pray for my son. I'd rather have you tell me the truth than to lie to me. I have told you my mind. I went there to pray for my son. I don't know what else you want me to say. What did I do to you? Tell me, what is the one thing I have ever done to you? That made you put me in this condition. I'm asking you, what did I do to you? Answer him. Don't you dare point fingers at me. Look at your mother while saying that. Don't look at me. I am his mother, not yours. They haven't seen anything yet. By the time I am done with my plans, Dorothy will regret ever crossing paths with me in this life. Mom? Are you by this statement confirming to me that you have a hand in what happened to my brother? Will you shut up? Are you stupid? How dare you ask me such a stupid question? Instead of you to join forces with me to achieve this aim, you are here saying nonsense. How dare you say such a stupid thing to me? And what makes you think? that you are not a suspect in this very case. Oh no, come on, mommy, come out of that. You know, I am not capable of doing such. Oh. You know, in as much as I want to be crowned the next king in waiting, you know, I cannot soil my hands with blood. I cannot go to that extent of harming my own blood. Oh, really? Have you heard the saying that states that there is no brother in the jungle? Uchena, have you heard that? People can go to any length to achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve in this life. I said to any length, I didn't say some length, any length to achieve it. So have that in mind. And as we are right now, you are not even my friend. So you better join forces with me to achieve this. This is a jungle. My prince, you have not eaten since today and it's not best for you in this condition. In this condition? My prince. You mock me because of my condition. Leave. For I already know that I am a cream poor and a hopeless prince who cannot help himself. Do not mock me any further. Go. May the gods forbid that I mock the next king of this great kingdom. I cannot mock you, my prince. How much were you paid to develop the confidence that you have to walk into this room? to mock me like this. I'm in pain, yet you rub it in. How much were you paid? Do you know that I can have you arrested and seriously dealt with for this singular act? How much 
will you pay it? My prince, please. Forgive me if I've spoken in a manner that is not good. And I can never collect anything as a reward to mock you, my prince. I'm just concerned that you have not eaten since today. I don't need your food. Go away. Prince, please. You need to eat, please. It's important that you... Go! Or else I'll do something nasty to you. What is going on here? Good mother. The prince has not eaten his food since today. I've been trying to get him to go and eat, but he has refused to do so. Mother, tell that maid to leave. Tell her to leave at once, for she has mocked me enough. Else I will do something to her. I will make every ear that hears of it tingle. Tell her to leave. Now! Son, starving yourself will never help in this matter. Rather, it will complicate it the more. It will worsen it. Please, you need to eat something, no matter how small it is. Man shall not leave my bread alone, mother. Oh, what use will this food be to me right now if it cannot help me? Tell her to get out. Please, you need to eat. I'm begging you. Amanda, with what you just narrated now, it's obvious that the prince is going through serious emotional problem. My darling, it's more than emotional problem. I just fear he might do something to himself. I'm calling. The prince I just left right now. <laughs> I fear he might commit suicide though. Why, Joe? God forbid. Why would you open your mouth to say such? Listen, just pray that the prince does not hear this from your mouth. He might hear Gabo. Why would you say a thing like because that? Because you do not understand what is going on right now. Listen. I think we, might, we should pray for him more. We need to pray for Prince Desmond. Come. Do you girls think that Queen Franca might have a hand in what is happening to the prince? Listen. I really do not like that woman. I don't like Queen Franca at all. I mean, we all know she doesn't like uh, Prince uh, Desmond and his mother, Dorothy. So it's obvious. Hey, see, I think the king should force the truth out of her. Yes. What if Queen Franca is not responsible for what Prince Desmond is passing through right now? And what if Prince Uchen is actually the one responsible for Prince Desmond's predicament? Hey, you don't see. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> How may I be of help to you? Omenka, what is wrong with you? How can you look me very in the face and tell me how may you be of help to me? Huh? Listen to me. Omenka Honanya remains the chief security officer of this royal palace. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. Now, I want you to tell me in clear terms what brought you to the palace. What do you want? Omenka, please, I do not want you to start embarrassing me today. Please, open up the gate so I can drive in and see Prince Desmond. How can you say that you want to see Prince Desmond when your name is not on the list of people Prince Desmond wants to see today? Besides, there is a standing order that forbids you from entering the royal palace. Listen to me. I will advise you to enter this your jalopy and go home. Better still, 
call Prince Desmond on the phone and tell him to order me, Omen Kahonanya one, to open this royal gate for you to cross. Else, it will never happen that you will pass through this place. Omenka, Omenka, what is wrong with you? Why are you always being so difficult? You know what? Just hold on. Give me one minute. Hold on. Okay. I am here. What? Omenka, please, take this. Take it, please, and open up the gates for me. I really don't have time for all this. I need to see Prince Desmond. Young lady, so you want me to disobey a royal order because of this rubbish change, this nonsense change that you brought? <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. Omen Kahonanya, the chief security officer of this royal palace, the Maz Yezio Kubun, the one of this great kingdom, will never disobey any royal order for anything in the world. Let me put it to you that this money will be kept somewhere and it will serve as an evidence to show that you, Vera, Try to bribe me, Omenka Honanya, to disobey a royal order. Let it be registered in your mind that this money is hereby tagged Exhibit A. Thank you. Omenka! Omenka, stop doing this. Omenka, don't do this to me. Omenka! I am not doing anything. Omenka, please now! I am not doing anything to you. Uh -uh. I just want you to know the truth. This oh money is tagged exhibit A. Oh my God, please, open up. And we made it categorically clear that the date cannot be changed. It was an agreement that was signed and sealed. Why are you bringing it up again and thereby making us look so stupid before uh, you as our king? Oh, oh no, oh no. Honestly, I don't like the way you are sounding. Uh -uh. Why not allow the council to exhaust this issue? It's a very critical issue. Allow us to deliberate on it very critically. Uh, Your Majesty, with due respect to you and the throne, I, I, I think this council can no longer go back to our vomit. This decision has already been taken that the date of our secret festival cannot be changed. Oh. This month, what do you want? I grew up to love and respect you so much. Not just as a stepmother, but as my mother. I have loved you. So much. Like one who brought me into this world. But it breaks my heart to find out that the woman whom I have loved like my own mother does not even like me. You have shown me in many ways that you hit me with passion. So you came here to disturb my peaceful relaxation with nothing. I have come to find out what exactly you have done to stir up this kind of hate. I am willing to ask for your forgiveness. I can't remember telling anyone that you wronged me in any way, did I? So why then am I in this condition? Why can I not walk with my legs like my mates? I 
I call you mother. And I ask you, mother, does it make you happy to watch me live in pain like this? In this condition. What exactly are you saying? What I am saying is that if I have wronged you, mother, please forgive me. I want to walk again with my two legs. I am saying that you should have a heart for your mother and break the spell so that I can walk again. I call you mother. Please forgive me. Be careful. Uh, <clears throat> now that we have all agreed on moving forward, I think we should send words to the chief priest of Ogogo to prepare the rituals that leads to the commencement events of the festival proper. You have a very good point there, Ichio Goji. And we should also compile some names that will form the committee for this year's festival. Yes, mm. You have all spoken well. Uh, Igwe, I think it is time for you to deliberate more on the issue of um, forming the committee. Yes. You have all spoken well, like the noblemen of the council that you are. Uh, but I haven't had any of you mentioned the condition of my first son, Prince Desmond. Uh, Your Majesty, with all due respect, that Prince Desmond refused to marry up to now, it's not an issue that, that should bother the men in council. Exactly. No. It is a sole problem of the royal family. After all, we all know what will happen if this Uruku festival comes and goes without our crowning Prince Desmond King in waiting. You know what will happen. It's not our problem. I, I wonder why all of you pretended to know that it is not the prince married to Stato is the problem. The bigger problem we have here is my son, Prince Desmond, is crippled. What? Your Majesty, how, when, when, how, how did that happen? Oh, well, it happened upon his arrival from overseas. Hey. It's, a, it's, a, it's a mystery. That is so mysterious. So what do we do now? Huh? Greetings to you, my father. And great elders of this land. This council should not bother themselves about the health condition of the prince. For I, Prince Uchenna, I am ready to do that which he cannot do. I am ready to be crowned the next king in waiting. Wait, you mean you said that to them? Oh, of course, I, I did. <laughs> and what did they say? Oh, they were all shocked. Uh, they couldn't say anything to me. <laughs> wait, 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 let me ask you. Was it from your heart? I mean, deep down your heart. Did you say that to them? Oh, Sonia. The Uchenna you used to know is not the Uchenna of today. I am prepared, fully prepared, to be crowned the next king in waiting. Very good. <laughs> now you are talking like a man. Not those days you used to sound like a woman. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, there is time for everything. 
this is time to be brave. Uh, listen, <laughs> my lovely woman, I want you to prepare yourself for you shall become the next queen of this great kingdom. And I can't wait. Uh, mm. But promise me you won't take a second wife like your father did. Mm -mm, promise me. I promise you I won't do that. <laughs> All right? Come here. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Yes, we come from different wombs. But we share the same blood. Because we come from the same man. And for that reason, I have treated you like my brother. Because indeed, you are my brother. But I ask you, my brother, why the sudden change? Change is what is constant in life. If I may ask, what particular change are you talking about? It is often said that brothers would rise against brothers, but I never thought that it would happen in my family. I never thought that it would happen to me. Which end? Why are you trying very hard to take hold of that which belongs to your big brother? You are a prince. I am a prince. And both of us are sons of the king. Both of us are qualified to be crowned the king in waiting. So I don't like how you're sounding as if I am trying to collect that which I am not qualified for. Come on, bro. The crown is not meant for you alone. This is not my brother talking. Oh, come on, Desmond. This is me, your brother. Oh, you see, the Uchenna you used to know is not the Uchenna of today. And the Uchenna of today is the Uchenna that is capable of doing that which you, Desmond, cannot do. Desmond, please allow me. Allow me to take my crown in peace. Except you want something worse than what you're going through to come close to you again. Uchenna, do you have a hand in what's happening to me? Is there anything you want me to do for you? I'm fine. All right. Good night. Amanda. Yes, my prince. Can a family? Seriously plot to harm their own. Um, my prince, um, 
There's nothing impossible in life when it has to do with humans. Do you think that my step mother and brother are capable of harming me? My prince, I think this question is too big for an ordinary maid like me to answer. Sorry, my prince. Let me help you. Don't, I'm fine. that you work here in the palace as a maid does not make you less human, Amanda. I've asked you this question because I see you as intelligent enough to give good answers to our questions. So I demand that you speak. Well, my prince, we all know that Queen Franca doesn't like you and your mother. And we may not be surprised if she does anything to hurt you or the Queen Mother in any way. But my worry right now is Prince Uchenna's twist, sudden twist of character. Prince. My brother. My beloved brother. I've been trying very hard to put my finger on why he has changed from the man he used to be to whom he has become. But the harder I try, the more confused I become. The hearts of men are filled with so many things, my prince. And evil is one of them. Search for me, Father. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, Amanda, please leave us. We'll call you when your attention is needed. As it pleases, Your Highness. Uh, son, your mother told me something a while ago, and I decided to call you and your stepmother. If your stepbrother was to be here, uh, his attention would be needed equally. Father, can you spare us this moment of suspense and get straight to the reason we're here? To the point. 
Dorothy, repeat what you told me. Honestly, I do not know the reason for this meeting. All I know is Frank are here and a useless son of Chenna must swear before Ogugu that they do not have hands in what happened to my son. What you said is absolute rubbish. Oh, will you shut up? Uh, mm. uh, son, you heard what your mother said. What do you have to say? Father, a son loves his mother, and the mother in turn loves her son with all of her life and will do everything to protect his life. If my mother has decided that he swear by Ugu to prove their innocence, so be it. What else do you expect to hear from a crippled man? <clears throat> Franka, you are so useless. I thank the gods because this served you. This useless son. Why are you fighting mm. someone who's not fighting you? Who's not fighting you? Why are you pushing someone who's, who's not pushing, pushing back? back? Oh, yeah. So why are you kicking someone who's not kicking back? Why you, why you, yeah. Oh no. Yes, friends. You are the prime minister of this kingdom. The next after my father, the king. By virtue of that, you are granted when he has to do with it culture and tradition of our people. That's right. Good. There is something very important I want to find out from you, no. And please, I want you to tell me the truth. Everyone in this kingdom knows that I am known for saying and standing by the truth at all times. So, tell me, what do you seek to know? Oh no. The reaction on you people's face, the very day I said that I want to be crowned the king in waiting, didn't really go down well with me. So I want to know, oh no. Does the tradition and culture of our people forbid me from becoming the king in waiting? Hmm. The truth of the matter is that the position of the next king in waiting belongs to your brother, Prince Desmond. It can only be given to you if, uh, peradventure, he is nowhere to be found, or that he decides to willingly give it uh, over to you. These are two ways to it. Um, <clears throat> oh no, I heard from a reliable source that no disabled person can be crowned a king in waiting, let alone becoming the king of this great kingdom. Whoever gave you that information is 100% correct. But that person should have given you the vital part of the information. Okay. You can only be given the next king in waiting if your old brother, Prince Desmond, gives you his consent and blessing. In this context, that is only when your dream will be golden.
Greetings, my king. And the entire royal family. Greetings, the great ship priest of our kingdom. I do not need to ask you why you are here, for I already know the reason. The die is cast. The drums of Oruruku festival. And the crowning of the next king in waiting is about to roll. The royal family and the entire kingdom are expected to prepare very well for this sacred event. As a more, the entire royal family is ready and well prepared to do that which is expected of her. So I, you go do a larib. Any I order you to fire the gunshot for the commencement of this sacred festival to begin. <laughs> Praise Desmond. Please step forward. This is the sacred part of Ogugu. Your father will tell you what next to do. I shall take my leave. You mean the chief priest gave the ancient court to that cripple? Mother, you know I cannot lie to you. You need that to have been there to witness it yourself. Then this is serious. It means that something is going on that I am not aware of. How do you mean, mother? For the chief priest to hand that ancient pot to that Umboro is a serious matter. It means that something serious is going on. Mother, the big question here is, what do we do? Because we cannot fold our arms mm. and what, what we have labored for for so long slip off our hands. Mm -mm. We are not going to watch that happen. And it will not slip off our hands. But we have a serious problem here. Varot has said that they have decided that we, you and I, are going to swear to prove that we have no hand in what is happening to that app. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that, that is not possible. Uh, Mother, I cannot do that. They should do the right thing. This simply means that you're not seeing it from the angle I'm seeing it from. Something serious is here ahead of us. Something what to do from here on. I heard him loud and clear. I have come to you, Father. So that you can tell me that which I need to do. Uh, well, son, can, can we change this conversation, please? At least for now. Dad. I hear you, but I'm sorry this cannot wait. For I have a lot going on in my life right now. Which you're also aware of. If I let this wait, then I'll be adding it to the burden that I already carry. And Father, please, I don't want to lose my mind. Talk to me. 
Oh, well, the, the chief priest said that you will lead the procession to the sacred shrine of Ububu with the ancient pot. And uh, that will be on the day the chief priest will perform the cleansing ritual. That you will not know any woman from today to the day you will be crowned king in waiting. And that is one month from now. Interesting. Uh, well, there is something that has been giving me sleepless nights. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Oh, what is that, Father? What is the problem? Uh, uh, well, I do not know how to say that. Uh, I've been begging on no wood to pass the information to you, but he insisted I should be the one to tell you that. Dad, you can't talk to me. Please. Hmm. Son, it's, it's, it's so difficult for me to say that. Dad, I know a man. A strong man. I call him Brave Heart. For he always speaks his mind no matter the outcome. Not for once is he ever afraid to speak his truth. And that man is you. Daddy, I have always tapped from your strength in difficult times. Please, speak to me. You cannot be the next king in waiting. Why? Why would you say this to me? It's very difficult for me to say. Is this because I am not married, Dad? Oh, well, not just that, but it has never happened in the history of this kingdom that a disabled person is made king in wedding. Well, if that is the truth, then why did the chief priest hand over the ancient port of Ogugu to me and said that you would tell me what next to do? Well, it is for you to hand it over to your younger brother, willingly. But on the grounds that you refuse, well, the kingship will leave this family to another family. That's my fear. Father, why is everything falling apart? And I can't take it anymore. So who did I offend? Oi, where did I go wrong? Obonye kamo jinke ya, ya guano mo, kamo mo. Who did I offend? Where did I go wrong? Obonye kamo jinke ya. My prince. Sorry to disturb you. It's time for you to go to bed. Says who? You've been seated here for hours, my prince. And it's past midnight. You're, you're still here all alone. Please, permit me to take you to your room to sleep. Of what use is sleep to the eyes that come? Sleep has eluded me. My prince, when the mind is filled up with so many thoughts, it seems sleep 
is far away from your eyes. Think less, my prayers, and sleep will find its way to your eyes. They have taken that which belongs to me from me. They say they can no longer crown me the king in waiting because I am crippled. You are not serious right now, my prince. Are you? Do I look like I am joking to you? I know that I have been out here. I've had a little to drink. A little tipsy maybe, but... Definitely not stupid and drunk. I'm sorry, my prince. I'm really sorry if I made you feel that way. But I just want you to know that what Shoki Kabiyama does not approve can never happen. Please let me take you to your room. The gods of our land, Chukwo Kikabiyama, the creator of the entire universe, Ogugu, the god of our forefathers, Ajani, the mother earth, and all the spirits around. I have come with a broken heart. Hear you the cry of a broken mother. They have decided to take away that which belongs to my son. I call upon you all to fight for us, for we are so powerless. Please fight for us. Do not allow evil to triumph over this land of peace, justice, and truth. Um, Your Majesty, could, could you please be more explicit? I, I don't think I understand what you're trying to say. I want us to crown my son, Prince Desmond. Then king in the wedding. Your Majesty, are you the one saying this? You and I know too well that this is not going to be possible. Prince Desmond is physically incapacitated. Our tradition and custom forbids uh, such personage to mount the throne of our forefathers. Oh no, you talk as if I don't know the tradition. Have you forgotten? I am the king. I am the custodian of culture and tradition of this kingdom. This tradition you talk about was made by men. We, we can change it and nothing will happen. Your Majesty. I'm short of words. I mean, how, how do you even think that this will be possible to achieve? Oh no, it takes two to tango. Oh, with your active collaboration with me, oh, it's achievable. And besides, Prince Desmond is my first son. He, and does not deserve to be treated badly. Mm. I want him to sit on the throne of our forefathers after my reign. Mm. Uh, Your Majesty, 
I'm sorry to disappoint you on this one. I will not be part of this evil plot. Girls, the way things are going on in this palace, one day, Prince Desmond might end up running mad. I'm telling you. Mkoli, why would you say such a thing? I'm sure if the king should hear of it, he will ask the guard to chop off your head. You have to be careful. Is it not obvious that you do not understand who I meant by that? Besides, who is going to tell the king what I said? Is it you? No. And I'm at You know I can't do such a thing. Sorry. But you have to be careful of your choice of words. The wall have ears. Yes. Would you are very correct. But at the same time, I think Kali has a point. <laughs> What do you mean by she's right? Because Prince Desmond is a shadow of himself right now. He thinks too much and I just, I just pray he gets out of the situation with his sanity intact. You girls are really getting me scared, honestly. I would really feel bad if anything should happen to Prince Desmond. I don't know why he has to face this fate at this point of his life right now. Listen, girls, I strongly believe that Prince Uchenna and his mother are responsible for what Prince Desmond is going through right now. Of yes. course. Of course. It's obvious that the both of them are responsible for the prince's orgy. I just wish there's something I can do right now to help him. Ono, are you sure the king said this to you? I don't understand. Are you insinuating that I... I cooked up this story myself. But this is strange. Why would the king call you for such a meeting in the first place? Does he not know what our tradition says about Prince Desmond's current condition? No, tell me. Honestly, I hmm? am not happy with the king at all. Hi. The way he is handling issues lately is so annoying. If he doesn't take his time, we will call for his removal. The king is ready to destroy our tradition just because he, he wants Prince Desmond to be crowned the next king in waiting desperately. He wants it desperately. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Why can't he allow Prince Uchenna, who is in a better position, to take the crown to do so? Yes! Instead of trying to destroy a tradition that has been in existence long before he was born. Oh no! Before I left the palace, ha. I reminded him that all he needed to do was convince Prince Desmond to give his consent for his younger brother, Prince Uchenna, mm -hmm. to be given the crown. Yes. He refused. Ah. The king refused? So he did. Why? Why? Uh, the reason is simple. Desmond is your older brother. He's the first son of this family. Therefore, the throne belongs to him. Father, but circumstance has made it impossible for him to emerge as a king in the waiting. Says who? Father, I have it on a good authority that no disabled person can ever be crowned the king of this great kingdom. And who told you that? Father, the question is not supposed to be who told me. The question begging for an answer is, Father, why are you fighting so hard to thwart the tradition of our people just to favor Desmond? Is there something you are not telling me? Oh, listen, Richard, now, listen. I want to ask you a question. And I want you to answer me with utmost sincerity. Are you and your mother 
responsible for Desmond's incapacitation. Father, answer my question. Are you? My prince, I came here severally to see you, but Omenka wouldn't let me into the premises. And then to make matters worse, you were not even picking my calls. What did I do? I was not um, in the right frame of mind to speak to anyone at the time. Even me? Why did you hate me? Listen, Star. I have a lot going on in my life right now. My life presently is a mess. There are certain kinds of conversation that I do not want to have. Oh, really? Vera, what are you doing here? I thought I warned you not to step your foot into this place. Did I not tell you to stay away from my prince? What are you doing here? What is this supposed to mean, Stella? That's my guest. What gives you the right to decide who comes here and who does not? My prince, please don't do this. Don't do this to me. Why are you embarrassing me? Well, Why? You're embarrassing yourself. Stop it. <sighs> Vera. Greetings, my prince. Uh, well, I actually came to check on you to know how you're faring. But I didn't know I was going to meet this mad dog here. Did you just call me a mad dog? <laughs> Vera, you're referring to me as a mad dog. S Stella, you were a mad dog. <laughs> I don't think I've forgotten what you did to me the last time because it is still fresh in my memory. And I'm going to serve you back in your own coin. I see you have grown wings. <laughs> I see you have refused to learn. Don't worry. <laughs> you see what I did to you the last time will be nothing compared to what is going to fall upon you oh, if you fail to. Bring it on! Bring it on! Right. Oh, really? That's enough. Really? Enough. <laughs> this girl is daring me. This girl Stella, is stepping. I am speaking. Wait. <sighs> both of you cannot go crazy in front of me. How did it. you two gain access into this palace? Because I can't remember opening the gate for any of you. Huh? Oh. I get it. The picture is more clear now. It's very clear. So you ladies took advantage of the fact that I was not at my duty post. Courtesy of a very serious running stomach that took me off my post. You seized the opportunity to invade this royal palace to cause breakdown of law and order. Oh. Now listen to me. Both of you should leave this place right now before I lose it. Oh, shut up. Don't you dare come close to me. What did you just say? Leave here right now before I apply force. Don't you dare come close to me. Oh, my God. My prince. Ladies. My prince. I'm sorry. But we'll have to reschedule. Okay, so please. Take your leave. What? But, but my prince, I... Are you people deaf? Leave! Did you not hear what he said? Yeah. Leave. My prince, it's me. You want me to come? <laughs> <laughs> this way. This way. This way. <laughs> Nonsense! How dare you? Omenka. My prince. Stand here. You are assigned to that duty post for a reason. But today, you failed in your duties. And that is why those two ladies walked in here unceremoniously, without notice. Omenka, I am aware that your job is very important to you. Very important, my prince. Very important. The next time this happens, 
I'm also aware that you know the consequences. I promise you it will never happen again. It will never happen for any reason. <laughs>